And gentlemen, finally, we are going to dive in into something interesting and new. Well, kind of new. It's five years old uh, way of declaring constants in JavaScript, but it's still interesting. So constants, what are constants? Uh, you may know from your uh, math lessons or from other languages, uh, programming languages, that constant is something that doesn't change. It's some uh, variable, which is not a variable, it contains some value, still behaves very similar, so it takes some memory in your uh, PC, etc. But you can't change the value. So it will be something that uh, you don't want to change at all, like completely. Uh, and in order to declare a constant in JavaScript, you just use a keyword const, which is very similar how you do var with variable, sorry, variable with var. Uh, but yeah, you just create a um, constant like this. And there are a couple of things you need to remember. So uh, like comparing this to a var, you can't um, declare a const and then assign a value because it's a const you can't reassign a value to it right so you have to do it initially when you initiate your variable when you declare it so you have to do it very at the very beginning uh, you still can do multiple variables in the same um, one line in the same list uh, with just one keyword but you have to assign values straight away to all of them okay so that's how you declare and this is basically what constant is so you can't really change the value but there are a couple of things that I have to mention because obviously we are talking about JavaScript and JavaScript is very famous of being a little bit inconsistent in some areas so let's um, dive into this topic a little bit deeper. So I prepared a couple of examples. So as you remember from my last tutorials, we have different data types and some of them are a little bit simpler and some of them are a little bit more complex. So by simpler, I mean flat structure. So for example, numbers, strings, booleans, null, uh, even though null is an object, but as I mentioned, it's a little bit of a bug type in JavaScript, uh, they are all simple types, right? And you can create constants with these values. Uh, and what happens, uh, as you probably would expect, these values shouldn't be possible to override to change them. So for example, if we try to change a to two, you have an error. If you ch try to change b to a number, you will have an error. If you try to change C to uh, number, you will have an error. If you try to change it to a different Boolean, you will have an error. And the same will be if you even try to apply the same value because it doesn't really matter. It's just about changing value. It doesn't matter what you put there. So if you are trying to change the complete value of the variable, well, constant in this case, you will not be able to do that because it's a constant. It's not possible to mutate this um, uh, value. So, but as I mentioned, there are a couple of caveats. So these are flat data types, right? We also have complex structured data types in JavaScript and these are objects. So for example, I have prepared an object which I called user here with a couple of properties so name author age 30 okay and if we console log this you will see the full structure there so it's a complex type right and what you would imagine and you would expect from constant uh, is that this object cannot be mutated at all but what happens in javascript is that if you try to uh, let me copy this line uh, <clears throat> if you try to change um, user name to a like let's say number as you can see it has changed and you will be like whoa what the hell uh, it's not a constant really and you kind of right so um, I will explain why kinda because uh, technically it's not a proper constant anymore because you can actually change all the inner uh, content and that's how JavaScript currently handles constant for complex types so uh, you will be able to change the inner content of the object or an array which I will show you in a second uh, but what you can't do you still cannot reassign the full 
uh, constant value. So if you will try to change uh, top level uh, value even to an object or whatever different value you want, it will be exactly the same error like assignment to constant variable. So you can delete properties, you can create properties, you can change properties, but you can't reassign the entire object. And the same applies to an ob uh, to a <coughs> to an array. So, for example, we have a um, book list. Is there something else I can help with? Ah, no, you can't. Thank you. Um, sorry for that. Uh, so, in in the case of the array, it will be basically exactly the same. So, you can uh, push stuff to an array. So let's imagine we want to, uh, no, we don't want to create a Boolean. We want book list and we want to push a new a book in there. So let's push uh, book uh, five, let's say. And as you can see, we have book one, two, three and five. Uh, and you can remove uh, items from the array. You can add items to an array. But what you can't do, you can't reassign array to a empty array or to a number or to a boolean all that will be impossible okay so this is how the uh, constant works currently in javascript so the pros is that uh, you can still create constant especially for flat structure uh, data types with complex types you kind of have this protection but on the top level so currently javascript can't do recursively inner uh, content or data uh, being constant okay hopefully this will be something that uh, engineers uh, who are working on javascript can fix maybe though this will be causing a lot of issues um, for developers i think who use current state of the constant um, but this is another topic so there is one more thing i want to cover very quickly uh, but that's basically in general what constant is so i want to give you a pro tip as well uh the pro tip is basically in uh programming there is a general concept of um making everything scoped in private as much as possible uh initially so basically because constant was introduced uh to javascript and in a way how they behave uh and how engine handles uh constant uh it's basically a good practice to use constant initially for pretty much everything that you uh, do so for every variable that you will be creating you use constant and only when you will really 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 need to expose uh, uh, or make this variable mutable or expose privacy in case of other languages but like you basically with tiny steps you uh, expose more stuff and make it more mutable so in case of javascript you always try to use const for pretty much everything especially for objects and arrays you will use const all the time okay because you can change inner content because in this way you will be always ensuring that you kind of have um at least an expected type of a variable all the time okay so basically uh, yeah the pro tip is use const all the time and change it to a different declaration only if you really need it if constant is not appropriate if you will mutate your data uh, all the time within one variable then definitely use different type but by default just use const all the time that's it folks uh like comment and subscribe uh, so i hope you really enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh and yeah see you in the next one which will be about let versus var which is another way of uh, declaring variables bye